And lastly, I would just like to experiment with some distortion on this uh, modular lead. It's already a fairly angry sound, so I don't want to do too much. But again, I would just like to select the minimal audio rift and uh, perhaps just go through some presets although I do seem to find myself starting off with this uh, simple distortion noise one quite a lot so with this because I've actually put it straight on the channel I'm going to be using the dry wet just because it will be far too intense if we have it 100% so let's just try a few different variations on this <laughs> So I think that was working. There was definitely a few parts where the lead is too loud, actually, particularly at the end here. So again, I'm going to take the audio files and I'm going to turn this down a fairly large amount. Let's go for minus three. And this one was already down minus five. So I'm going to bring that to minus eight here. And also what I'm going to do is take the same compressor that I was using for the bass and just copy that over but I'm going to adjust the threshold just so that it actually fits with this particular uh, lead sound <laughs> So I was just making a few adjustments on the compressor there and I also just grabbed the second 16, the leads here, and just turned them all down 1 dB as well. So you can see it's just a balance that I'm trying to achieve between turning down the recordings manually with the gain and just using the compressor here as well. But I think we've got a pretty good balance here and hopefully this is a good raw groove but there's still a lot of space for Harry to add new elements and perhaps you know, switch up the bass a little bit, add some other processing or some other bass sounds. And that's generally the way that we work a lot with these kind of sketches, trying to leave room for the other person to also do something as well. So now what I'll be doing is bouncing these two individual audio files and sending them over to Harry to work on at his end. <laughs> 